Hi, everyone. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah, that's that's. I'm glad to hear it. I I, I you know I, I've been going thinking about our channel and trying to go back to its roots. You know, yeah. what are some of the stuff that we did on this channel way back when that we haven't done in a while? Uh, we haven't played a lot of. We used to play a lot of Twine games. Yeah, and I'm kind of sad that we haven't played as much anymore. That's that's true. And. We also uh, were playing a couple of, uh, you might remember that one uh, series we played on a game called Open Sorcery. Mm. Turns out, the sequel to it came out last year. <laughs> and we just haven't had the time to get around to it yet. But while we're, uh, before we kind of have our future taken over by one particular game, we thought not it'd be a good names. time. Not naming names. We thought it'd be a good idea to get in <laughs> to play this game because, uh, it, admittedly, it's been years since we played the original open sorcery titles. But it was good. They were so good. I don't remember much about them anymore, but I hopefully, hopefully that's not going to be too much of a barrier for us to play this. Uh, and I remember at least one person in our Discord talking it up as their favorite game of the past year. So I am looking forward to it. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> the first thing I remember is pain. Ooh. Target found. Snapping. Brittle. Blooming. Pain. Something's heading towards you. The pain fills my body. Invalid existence detected. I'm going to try to get that in invalid existence detected. There we go. It sounds a little different. The pain is too big. For my body. Surface now. My body is a small cup under a waterfall. Invalid existence deleted. There is no room for me in my body. So I leave my body. And enter the Windows 10 blue. <laughs> enter field. the Windows 10 loading that desktop. Awesome. <laughs> Danger. Astral form reaching edge of tether. And. Dangerous. Astral form no longer connected to the body. Fall. I, my spirit. The bits of me beyond muscle and bone. Fall. Entering surface web. Through the web. No love surface web. <laughs> I get that reference now. <laughs> <laughs> the web. The place below the real world. A place of thoughts, spirits, dreams, all connected. He, they, she, it. Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do we want? 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 Uh, let's just cross out the top left. All not, right, not doing that. I'm not, <laughs> not because it's an invalid choice, but because I don't want to have to narrate with with that <laughs> unless I can avoid it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, they, we're going they. Good evening, themers. <laughs> <laughs> they know this. Oh, do we have to click them all? He loves her. She hates that. Oh, they're in order. I thought we were selecting our pronouns. He loves her. She hates that. They know th They know this. She hates that. It fears them. This is the web. The connections make the web. Entering web. I am connected to my family, to my friends, to my beliefs. One by one, the threads break. Too weak to hold me at this velocity. Nice. Some threads snap cleanly, but some are strong and deep, so, so instead of them breaking, they break off a piece of me. I lose my past, my name, my mind. Pieces of me drift in all directions as I fall deeper into the web. Deeper. Yeah, deeper. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes when it's 3 a.m. and you're still on Twitter. 3 a.m. on Twitter simulator. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? What is my name? <laughs> Please, is it the before times? <laughs> deeper, yet deeper. The air is thick with threads. They become softer, 
melting together. Strong connections are currents. It is a web and an ocean entering the deep web. Ooh, called it. I cannot see. No connection to hardware. I cannot think. No connection to brain. I can only fall. Finally, I land. Hmm. Open sorcery, C++, bitches. The bitches is uh, not part of the official title. I, just, <laughs> I, I added that in. Oh, I see, I see. I just, I just wanted to be clear about that. At the bottom of a dark sea, I lie among my broken dreams. Do we click on a oh, log So we have file? log files we can click on, and at the bottom... I Let's click, click, click on, on log file one. one. Heinrich Zimmer. Limitless and immortal, the waters are the beginning and end of all things on Earth. Log file two, Jessica Katoff. She is made up of depths even the ocean couldn't fathom. Log file three. Myst Mystopedia entry, the web. A subconscious network of the human consciousness composed of synth sympathetic relationship threads that form a web-like structure, spiritually located beneath the physical world. Interesting. The bottom of a dark sea, I lie among my broken dreams. I walk a lonely road. Do you settle down? <laughs> oh my god, this part of the web has embedded MIDI. <laughs> it is dark. Lie still in the dark. Oh, these are our options. Cry or feel around. Excellent. Uh, uh, let's feel around. Oh, okay. Well, I was going to cry. That's generally what I do. <laughs> I, I feel. Do you feel? Oh, I'm being felt. Okay, thank you. I Had set the method act it. I, I, I'm glad that you, you did. I sit <clears throat> up and feel around. In the sand around me, I discover the sharp edges of broken dreams. Dreams are both the most breakable and the most durable part of the mind. My dreams fell with me. I don't remember what they are. Breakable and durable. Let's see what that's... Like ceramics, they can crumble or shatter, but the pieces will endure for archaeologists to wander over. I see. The dark is absolute. I search the sand with my fingertips. There are so many shards. Broken pieces that were once beautiful still are beautiful in a sad sort of way. If I find enough pieces, I can put them back together and learn who I am. Darkness of the ocean. The water around me is cold, still and pure black. The sand here is pitted with sharp stones, dream shards, collect my dreams. The shards are light and dry, somewhere between dead leaves and bone fragments. My fingers tingle as I touch them. They sparkle in my mind's eye, familiar. I can tell the difference between my dreams and dull pebbles. Ooh, that looked like a branch point of some kind. Okay. Yeah. Did it highlight different when you moused over it? Like my mouse over this one. That one looked like it highlighted different. It did highlight differently because it was beginning to kind of fill in. I'll have to pay attention to that. Okay. I collect all the pieces of this dream. I think it is an important dream since it stayed with me for so long and landed so near. Now I must figure out how to piece it back together. A jigsaw puzzle of memory. Ooh. Word puzzle! Ooh. Okay. I think this... Oh, okay, so we have to... Okay, so let's switch this one up here. Oh, this is so clever! Sorry, as someone who has dabbled working with Twine before, I'm, I'm trying to think about how all these things have been put together, and I'm like, oh, that's so neat! I remember guiding the impossible into the... And, oh, that's, this looks right. I remember magic. I remember guiding the impossible into the inevitable with a light hand. I tame spirits with scripts. I master matter, motive, and mysticism with math. I see the spaces in my mind where spells belong. I think this order is correct. I remember magic. I remember guiding the impossible into the inevitable with a light hand. I tame spirits with scripts. I master matter, motive, and mysticism with math. I see the spaces in my mind where spells belong. I am an open sorcerer. Oh, I want my magic back. This dream is complete.
files a github issue on your open sorcery <laughs> I the remember library doesn't work right <laughs> fix it <laughs> do you want to be the uh the the kind of uh the voice of whatever is giving us sure Discovered part of spell, Salwe Mundi. Manifest text. Collected one of three parts of this spell. Salwe Mundi. Uh, hello world? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. I remember Salwe. I'm taking a guess at Mundi. We have an inventory! Yeah! Pretty cool. Requires one We have one of three code blocks, and we require one light in order to... For gritty realism, I Ooh. hope the compile time is really long, so you have to like go <laughs> like, post Slack memes for a couple minutes while you wait to figure out which stupid syntax errors you made. <laughs> I'm so glad one of us actually knows what they're doing with like programming and shit, because I sure fucked Allegedly. Up. Allegedly. Solway Mundi was a simple program. One of my first. <clears throat> it creates glowing let oh no, there is the voice. It creates glowing letters. Those would be useful right now. They would let me see. Well, I found the memory of the spell. Perhaps I can find the memory of how to cast it. Mm. Continue. There are no more dreams in this patch of sand. I'll have to search elsewhere. I still can't see anything. I guess I'll just pick a direction and walk. Mm. Darkness of the ocean. I can feel an indent in the sand where I landed. There are tiny pits where my dreams rained down. Well, ready to get attacked and eaten by a Gru? Yep. Let's walk north. I try to stand and walk, but my right leg buckles. There's a ghost of remembered pain. I collapse back into the sand. I rub my leg. It aches. Spiritual forms are based on body memory. My, mo my body must be hurt, permanently hurt, so that it's part of my identity. I can't put weight on my right leg. Luckily for me, I'm underwater. I don't need to walk. I can swim. Ah ha 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 ha. All right. Still north? Still north. Something on the ground glimmers with familiarity. Not visibly in my mind's eye. Pick it up. 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 It's another <laughs> dream. Or perhaps a memory. I feel its jagged edges and realize this is only a fraction of a larger dream. Hmm. What kind of memory? A false distinction. Memories are the dreams of the past. Ha! That's a good turn of phrase. Hot take. I like it. And also not wrong. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's a different conversation. <laughs> uh, I'll have to... <laughs> Imagine just standing up one day and be like, "Yeah, so uh, dreams and have about the uh, your memories have about the same informational quality as your dreams," <laughs> and then just like mic drop, walk right out. <laughs> yeah, let 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 society pick up that trash fire. For <laughs> I'll have to find the rest of this dream before I can see if there's any magic in it. But for now, I hold this dream to my chest and see what it has to tell me. Absorb dream. Discovered part of dream, the steps of breaking. The steps of breaking. The steps of breaking. Sorry, I, I, I wasn't... Okay. I am running to school. My foot hits ice, flush with the concrete. The world lurches, and I land on my leg. My bag, all my textbooks land on top of me. Collected one of three parts of this dream. I still need more pieces to complete this dream. Oh, no. We've... <laughs> Discovered that we are the protagonist of like a, of a shoujo anime. <laughs> we just need to remember the toast in our mouth. Yeah, it, it, all it's missing is the toast. There's nothing of interest here. Guess we can't go further. Than, what happens if you click it? I don't want to wander too far from where I landed. With no light, there, I'm sure to get lost. Okay. Reasonable. Okay, cool. So let's go. I wonder if it's gonna be just like a three by three grid then. Go west. Yeah, it's a three by three grid. Or I assume that we land in the middle. The ground here is hard stone. Feel the stone. Discover a crack in the stone. I feel drawn to it. A tingle of familiarity tells me that a piece of me has fallen down there. Search. Do something else. Search. 
I reach inside. The hole narrows as it deepens. The stone walls scratch my hand. My fingertip brushes the edge of one of my dreams, using something na use something narrow and long to finish it out. To fish it out. We don't have something long and narrow. Do we want to force our hand further in or give up for now? I don't know. I, w I, I kind of wonder what happens if we take the bad choice. <laughs> it All right. I force my hand further down. Rough stone rakes against my knuckles, drawing blood. Lost one health. Shit, I have health. Probably metaphorical since this is my body, but I'd still better not let it reach zero. I pincer the dream between my middle and index fingers. I pull my dream out. It is smeared with blood, but mine. I press the dream into my chest, letting the memories and thoughts flow back into me. Discovered part of dream. The steps of breaking. Pain. There are five steps to breaking a bone. One, the crack of pain. Two, speckles of light before my eyes. Three, I want to vomit. Collected two of three parts of this dream. I still need more pieces to complete this dream. This game has already spoken to me as it falls into the very specific genre of twine games that that uh, describe your own internality in, in like visceral detail. <laughs> and I am all about that. <laughs> The water around me is cold, still, and pure black. I wonder if there might be something here if we could light stuff up. Maybe. I hear scratching noises. I can tell a piece of me is close. Listen. Hey! Listen! <laughs> I hear the scratching of chitinous feet. There are creatures I can't see creeping on the sand here. My dream is somewhere on the ground with the creeping creatures. We don't have a stick to poke around with. Should we go get a stick this time? Do you want me to get a stick? You, you sure? What if we pick the bad option? It was useful info. <laughs> Let's go find a stick. God. <laughs> okay, so in the southwest, there's a the thing we need a stick for. Okay. The water around me is cold, still, and pure black. The sand here is rough. Feel the sand. The sand is rough with debris. Chips of wood, bits of metal, pieces of a shipwreck. I find a mound that I can search through. That I can drag to high later. Oh, go for it. It's time to wordle. Go. You, you, you can read the... I feel like I'm going to be reading most of this stuff. I didn't realize that, but... Click and drag to highlight a word. You can make word searches skippable in options. Oh my god, if we waited too long, do you see it highlighted? I did. While searching the debris, I find a stick. A splinter of wood as long as my forearm and thin as my thumbnail. Fragile, but might be useful for something. Take it. Okay, so we can go back here now. And poke around with the stick. I use the stick to knock the dream out of the west nest of whatever's. Something grabs the end of the stick and snaps it in half. Lost the stick. But I recover my dream. Oh, so if we wanted to we if we wanted to be smart about it and not lose health, we would have had to go up and get the other one first. Hmm. I pressed the dream into my chest, letting the memories and thoughts flow back into me. Steps of breaking. Discover my, part of dream. The steps of breaking. Four. My leg is wrong. Five. I realize that there will be another sixth months of wearing a cast. Sixth months of sitting in the bleachers watching the other children run. I have broken so many bones. I am so tired. Collected three of three parts of this dream. Wait. This is from first person perspective. I have, oh, that this part. And I have found all the pieces of this memory. It is time to assemble it. Pain. There are five steps to breaking a bone. All right, let's see. So these are the ones we saw. I think that one goes first. Yeah. Like this, right? Yeah. I think this order is correct. I am running to school. My foot hits ice flush with the concrete. The world lurches and I land on my leg. My bag, all my textbooks land on top of me. Pain. There are five steps to breaking a bone. The crack of pain. Speckles of light before my eyes. I want to vomit. My leg is wrong. I realize there will be another six months of wearing a cast. Six months of sitting in the bleachers watching the other children run. I've broken so many bones. I am so tired. This dream is complete. I remember part of a spell. Discovered part of spell, Salway Mundi. Text equals text plus light. Collected two of three parts of this spell. Continue. All right. So the one thing we haven't checked yet are east and northeast. Yeah. 
water is dark. I hear something. Listen. I hear crying. Uh, hello? The sounds of crying stop. There is a pause. Then there is speech. This voice is rough and has the telltale lisp of a not quite human mouth. Who are you? I don't know. Uh, oh, right. I don't know. I've lost my name. Why are you crying? Hmm. Hmm. Should we ask why they're crying? Sure. I cry because I have found a dream. A dream of swimming th free through the web. I weep because this dream of freedom reminds me that I am chained. It is so beautiful, but its beauty tears my heart to pieces. But I cannot look away. Hmm. How are you chained? How are you chained? I am chained by my master's will. Ten seasons ago, measured by the color of the coral and the digital clocks in my master's shop. Ten seasons ago, I swam where I wanted. I could beach myself on the shores of fairy, flirt with the phoenixes in their academy, or peek into the world of men. Ten seasons ago, I lost those places and found only this darkness. Ten seasons ago, I lost my skin. You? Is that a metaphor, or you're a selkie? I don't remember what the deal with selkies is, other than that one Between the Buried and Me song, which really slaps. Mm. Uh, what is the deal with selkies? <laughs> we should figure that out. I know out. they're like an aquatic fairy type being. They're not the horse ones. I kind of thought they were. Are they? No. No, they're not. Are, are they? Let's see. Our silky folk are mythological beings capable of therianthropy. I don't know what that is. Changing from a seal to a human form by shedding their skin. Boom. There it is. That's cool. You're a selkie. You know what I am. Then you know that a selkie's skin is their soul. It is my fur and my muscles and my tail. The tools I need to rise from this miserable place. But Master stole it from me, and I must stay here and serve him. Huh. That is terrible, that is unfortunate, or that's life. Sounds pretty terrible. That's terrible. It I is what it is. This dream gives me brief escape, though it hurts me with longing for true escape. Hmm. I don't think the advice, you could, shouldn't keep something that hurts you. I, although I get, I get what they get, but the, the thing is you could take that in two ways. Mm-hmm. Which in one in a very sensible way, which is like if it's harming to you, you should you know not have that. The other way is that like some like there are things that cause us pain that are important to hold on to. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, we can just say it's a part of us then. Yep. I need that dream. It is a part of me. It is only one memory. You have others. I want this one. It reminds me of life before my chains. Do we? Are we about to lie about having no other memories? No, we found code blocks. Cool. Memories. Mm. Ooh, how do we approach this one? You were the one with the bold suggestions earlier. How do you want to hold, handle it? <laughs> what it we we learned more about the Selkie's master through the previous conversation track, so yep. we've probably only unlocked this one because we did that, so why not try that? So you'll take away a piece of me and trap me in the dark. You're just like your master. I... No. I... I can feel the water tremble as the Selkie lit, flits unhappily back and forth. Fine. Take your memory. It is too painful to look at anyway. I will go back to looking for darkness and dreaming my own dreams. I am not like my master. No, you are not. Thank you. The water vibrates with rapid movement, and he has gone. Take my dream. It is indeed a dream of freedom. The sort of freedom that would tempt a selkie. It's all in pieces, though. Damaged by the fall. I'll have to sort it out. Hmm... 
Oh, okay. What seems like an opening sentence? I discovered the web. So there's a bunch that start in media in media race, yeah. right? So not this one, not this one. I discovered the web is a candidate. I am swimming as a candidate. Not okay. So of these two. So this one says about talks about discovering swimming, and the next one talks about swimming itself. So I think this one must go yeah. first. Severed, I could swim in other people's dreams. Yeah, could be. Let's take a look at the other ones for sentences just okay. to make sure. Because oh, that one doesn't end with a period, so that one's probably a yeah. Discovered I could sw I could discovered I could swim, but fly. Nope. Discovered I could swim aches. No, nope, I yeah, think this so we is got it. it. And that's a hard stop. So again, we're going to want something that starts with a capital. Like so. I am swimming, which is the only remaining one. Yep, in water, but I am free. Nothing aches. Yep. Nothing. Yeah. Boom. I think this order is correct. Wait, when I became... What? Interesting, because we didn't read the end of that one. When I became a sorcerer. Yeah. So I am swimming is probably the beginning. And then the first two that we picked are probably the last two. Yeah, you're absolutely right. <laughs> we got baited. Because we didn't finish reading that last one. I am swimming. So, in water I am free, nothing aches. There we go. Let's try that. Let's try this one. I am swimming. In water I am free. Nothing aches. My legs can carry me. I can not only walk, but fly. I have always loved normal water. My father called me Little Fish. My forum handle is Pisces. My name. When I became a sorcerer, I discovered the web. A new world below the world. I discovered I could swim in other people's dreams. There, I have never felt less like a cripple and more like a bird. This dream is complete. I remember part of a spell. Discovered part of spell, Solway Mundi. String text equals hello world. Collected three of three parts of this spell. I have found all the pieces of this spell. I can compile it in the inventory. Do we want to check out that north spot we didn't Yeah, let's yet? check out northeast first before we compile. There's light here. Small motes of moving light. Not enough to illuminate anything, but it's refreshing to see something. Examine the light. It is a school of lanternfish. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Trey. He always comes back into the show somehow. <laughs> I just wanted to talk to you all about your Golgi apparatus. That's all. <laughs> uh, 802 jokes. 802 Got jokes. Em. 802 Yeah. They eat secrets. They glow to attract attention and then... Try to persuade unwary drivers to give them personal information. <laughs> oh. Ha, 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 ha. Normally I'd be wary of being mesmerized, but these are very young and have not learned to hunt effectively. Shall we grab one or watch them? Because I believe we do need a mote of light in order to actually compile this. We do. Yep. Should we watch them though and see what they do? Yeah, let's watch for a bit. Dark. Right now, the lanternfish are scattered into small groups around the edges of this area, keeping their distance from me. I am FBI and I need your credit card. <laughs> Can we watch them a little more? Yeah. <laughs> lanternfish have collected back into a school. They weave back and forth in hypnotic patterns. I take care not to stare too long. What is your email password? All right, shall we grab one now? Yeah. Good. I grab for one of the fish, but they're still wary of me and scatter at the moment I move. Damn. I can have social security numb. All right, so we got to watch them a little longer, okay? Yeah. What is your email password? What is your email password? Oh, there's one. The lanternfish have grown more accustomed to me and venture closer, trying to catch my eye with their patterns. I am FBI and I need your credit card. Shall we grab one now? Yeah. Grab for one of the fish and almost catch it, but it darts through my fingers as they yes. close and all scatter. Let's let's wa wait even longer yep. then. I Ned verify you credit card info. <laughs> I am foreign prince. Give me monies. What is your two name? 
please go to your bank.com and give me money, please. The fish have forgotten I am here and roam freely, passing inches from me. Grab one? Yeah. I grab a lantern fish. Its schoolmates scatter, but it wriggles, trapped in my grasp. Can harvest the matter of light from its body. Not enough to see by, but enough to power a spell. How much should I take? Only as much as we need. Only as much as we need. I hold the fish still. Oh, we could have gained more light for future spells here. Yeah. Mm. But it would be mean to the poor fish. But... Okay, it has social security numb. <laughs> I touch the tip of my right index finger to the glowing sack on its side. Bioluminescence. Chemilumin chemiluminescence. Luciferin. Luciferase. Light. Gained one light. Its light dims, but it does not go out. I release it, and it darts away. Sir John. Let's come Space is dark. The fish have gone. Compile! Compiling spell, Solway Mundi. String text equals hello world. Text equals text plus light. Manifest text. Recompiling arcana. Building code. Injecting matters and motives. Publishing spell. Spell compiled. You can now cast Solway Mundi. I remember matters and motives. <laughs> Continue. Woo! Achievement. I have a spell. I can cast it whenever I like. I think I would like to cast it now. What spell should I cast? Solway Mundi. Hey. Hey. I am sitting at the bottom of an ocean. Not the physical ocean. This is the spiritual sea of thoughts and feelings that exists below the material world. The space the soul goes to dream. The birthplace of spirits. C++. Plus plus. <laughs> Title <laughs> drop! <laughs> when did we start doing <laughs> the air horns every time there's a title drop? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got there. Look at myself. I am a woman. I found the name Pisces in one of my memories. I will use that for now. By the creases and scars, I judge myself to be in my late thirties or early forties. I am wearing loose clothing that is indistinct enough to imply I do not care very much about it. A blue scarf is wrapped around my head. There is something wrong with my right leg. Look around me. I am sitting at the bottom of the ocean. Not the physical ocean. Oh, right. <laughs> I see. This. Okay, got it. What's next? My body must still be alive. A spirit wouldn't exist without a brain. Software can't exist without hardware. Ooh, bold, bold, I bold comparison there. <laughs> okay, so we're we're going we're we're going with the uh, the self is is uh, electrical signals in the brain in the brain qua computer, right? Right? Is that is that what we're coming at here? Is it? I to am? me, it, to me, it read as uh, to me, it read as functionalism. Mm. The other ones who often make the software hardware. Okay. Um, comparison. Either way, we 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 were th we we're heavily throwing out the idea that unconsciousness must be embodied, or or that consciousness must be spirit. Yeah, yeah. Mm, there's 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 a lot of uh, a lot to delve into here. Although, come to think of it, I think embodied consciousness does make sense. How do we get our first memory? Broken leg. Yeah, you're right through remembering our physicality yeah, and we yeah, yeah, ourselves. Yeah, mm. This is an embodied cognition game. Yo! Hell yeah. I would have fallen... What software can exist without... Sorry. <laughs> I would have fallen into my component parts. Earth, fire, water. Mostly water. Descartes BTFO. <laughs> Donna Descartes. <laughs> Well, what am I going to do? Climb back to my body, recover my memories, or lie down and die? Speed run! <laughs> Speed run! <laughs> Let's not click that one. Oh, okay. But I want to point out that having that option there has convinced me more readily than anything else that our character is probably incredibly depressed. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> that's the option that kind of floats by a couple times a day where I'm like, hey, mm, is it lie down and die time? <laughs> I think it might be lie down and die time. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. and you're debating whether to make coffee. I think there are easier options. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> that was probably the rudest thing, actually. Really? <laughs> Think about it. I was all like, yeah, I try, you know, getting through each day is kind of hard. <laughs> and you're like, ugh, all you're doing is waking up late and trying to make coffee. God. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I meant it. <laughs> I know it's, but it almost was. It was funny. <laughs> Uh, um, should we recover memories? I think recovering memories is probably a good idea. I can feel the absence of everything that I am. Phantom limb, phantom self. Oh, I want to be me again. I want to know my favorite drink and if I'm in love and whether I like pistachios. The answer is no. No one actually likes pistachios. False. I love pistachios. You don't actually love pistachios. You are in love with the idea of loving pistachios. That's false. I... No, it is not. You are the only one that tries to eat pistachios it tries to make yourself enjoy them i succeed but you, don't. you don't i've witnessed you eating them you don't enjoy it you just keep thinking man if i eat enough of these maybe i can learn to tolerate them enough to look like i like <laughs> like like i love them that's you that is you and pistachios <laughs> i feel like i touched something raw here <laughs> says the person who doesn't like the pistachios but ate them anyway because they're salty i think that's part of the, how they get you they're salty there's like like so you're just like oh it's a salty snack I'll enjoy. and then, no all you're really enjoying is like that lighting up of the fucking msg bits on your tongue right i would eat them without salt i get me some i'll do it right now <laughs> you know what we'll throw down later because i don't think you will i think you'll have a bite of one of them you'll be like this is why did I ever think I could love this? I won't eat them when they come in the hard shells, though, and you have to get out the little bits, because that's really annoying. Uh-huh. See, you're already making concessions. <laughs> Pieces of Pisces are scattered everywhere around and above me. I'll find my spells in them. That will help. Pieces of Pisces should be a name of the thing. All right. My first objective should be to find a web ship. You need a boat to travel the physical sea. You need a web ship to travel this sea. Now that I have light, I can look around and see what I can find. Okay, so actually, um, we got some advice from one of our uh, Discordians about this. Yeah? Yeah, about- is that, is that what we're calling now, Discordians? I love that. I love it. I didn't think about it, but now that it's come out of my mouth, yeah, people in the APR Discord are Discordians. Um, <laughs> they'd had a very specific recommendation for what ship we should pick. Yeah? Not that they aren't all like good choices, but one of them in particular seems to in, uh, open up a couple more options than the others. Which ship is the OTP then? I need to log on to my laptop and check the Discord real quick. <laughs> <laughs> buy me time, Vivian. Buy me time. Uh, how much is time? Like, probably, probably 50 cents for you are a incorrigible. minute. <laughs> I stand on a plain of green sand, a desolation of damp desert. There's a patch distur of disturbed sand where I landed. A trail of footprints leads south. Okay, so this is where we were, but now it is... We with can see. Yeah. Now we can see. Let me see. Uh, trail of footprints. That's... The footprints are five-toed and tipped with dots that imply claws. An indent curves between the prints, snake-like. A tail, I would guess. They lead up to the debris where I found that stick and then depart to the south. Interest. Hmm. Mm. Should we follow the footprints or do you want to look? Can we look around the area we were in? Sure. Oh, God, we can go wherever we want now. <gasps> uh oh. <gasps> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <sighs> not gonna, not gonna go into that. I think we'll follow. I think we'll politely follow the uh, the uh, route forward, huh? As one does. Let's see. Oh, not without a web ship. What uh, did I just click it twice? Okay. Yeah, it seems like it accidentally double clicked. Okay. Footprints by the cliff. The gray sand of the abyssal plain ends abruptly and absolutely at a cliff edge to the south. Footprints continue to the west. Click on the cliff. No, nah, the cliff itself. I look over the Clifford's edge. Below, there is only utter blackness. There are those who say, if you go deep enough, you begin to rise again. There are stories of a web beyond ours po populated by alien dreams, twisting a network of threads, strange material whose origins lie in another world. You know, Thulu. Cool. Cool. Should we click on the footprints again? Or will it be the same? It's the same. Yeah. Well, I guess let's follow them. Yeah. The Packet Rat Shop. I'm standing outside of a curious building. 
From one end of the ramshackle house, a dark net extends into the abyss. A neon sign glows. This building is made of things that are not building material. One side is constructed entirely of desktop computer towers, stacked like bricks. The rest of the walls are tabletops, web ship, web ship hull plating, and broken flat screen TVs, all duct taped together. There are tiny windows made of tablet screens. Inside I see more junk. Hmm. A dark net. <laughs> a dark net is a spiritual weave of sable thread and unresolvable IP addresses. <laughs> yeah, how can you argue back now if you can't find out what my IP address is, huh? <laughs> I'm behind seven proxies. <laughs> You'll never know my main. <laughs> it filters the matter of dark out from normal darkness. It also acts as a net. Most of this junk probably came from the trawling. Plus, I'm lucky I didn't get caught in one of these during my fall. A neon sign glows. This sign has been cobbled together from many other different neon signs. Packet Rat, symporium of gently used secondhand items. Packet Rat is a good name. It is. Oh my god, you're going to get to be the Packet rat. rat. This is the most random store I have ever been in. There's everything from cracked VR headsets to dented floppy drives, and it's hard to tell the wares from the walls since the building is made of the junket petals. In the center of it all is a rat the size of a mastiff. He's wearing bifocals and typing on an old computer. He looks up as I enter. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Packet Rat's Emporium of Gently Used Secondhand Items. We offer quality merchandise at ocean floor prices. Please have a look around and let me know if anything interests you. I'm sure we can make a deal. I'm surrounded by mounds of junk. The Packet Rat types on an old computer. Aww. Should we look through things before we talk to the Packet yeah. Rat? Yeah. Yeah. Let's look around. Most of this stuff is the sort of ruined trash you'd expect to see in a junk shop at the bottom of the sea. Meaning none of it works, but there are parts that could be repurposed for something else. There are a lot of web ship parts. Everything from hull plating to engine parts. Discover a hidden gem among some old Sierra Adventure game floppy disks. <laughs> nice. A USB flash drive, but no ordinary USB stick. I can tell by the pattern of runes on the side and the aura of constructed earth and order that radiates from it. This is a USB drive of holding. Holy fuck, where do I get one? To use it, all I have to do is tap this against an object. That object will be digitalized and uploaded into the drive. I can then download it back into the world wherever I want. This one says 5FRG on the side. That means it can carry up to five refrigerators. That's the standard metric for USB drives of holding. <laughs> Beautiful. This is exactly what I need to transport heavy web ship parts. I doubt the Packer Rat knows what this is or he'd be featuring it as a special. I should definitely buy it. What's the specials? There are items in a magically sealed glass case. Oh, the Selkies. Oh, no. Oh, no. A gray sealskin robe is tucked into the cor cor far corner of the specials case. Unlike the other items, it is not in the light. Its presence in the box looks queerly unintentional. I don't know if we have to buy stuff yet, so I don't want to... A shitty looking engine. It is the shabbiest, grimiest webship engine I ever have seen. It remains, however, an intact and apparently functional webship engine. Patchy's web sale. A worn and patched web sale is arranged in a dramatic drape inside the specials box. It really is nothing special, but it is a sale. Okay. Welcome, welcome. The packet rack wiggles its, his whiskers at me in a friendly way. Let me know if I can help you. Can't imagine you get much foot traffic. Uh, maybe we don't start by insulting their business. Yeah. Is the dark net outside yours? It is. The matter dark is something of a specialty of my establishment. I provide only the deepest darkness. Midnight black. Onyx abyss. Makes coal look like snow. Dark is actually my primary revenue stream and the original reason for my choice of location. Hmm. Who do you sell to? Oh, a variety of spiritual entities, fairy nobility, barons of hell, some open sorcerers. Interesting, and how do you make deliveries? I have an arrangement with a kraken. She comes by regularly. Oh. Does she take passengers? Good mm. question. How much do you charge for dark? Hmm, I don't sell dark out of the storefront. I have too many buyers as it is. I actually usually charge darkness for my wares. I can put you on the waiting list if you want, but frankly, you'd be better served going outside and collecting some yourself. How would I do that? The height of simplicity. 
presuming you have experience manipulating matter and motive. I seem to. Then simply go out into the abyssal plain and search for patches of darkness. Examine them closely and you will find clots of particularly thick black you can pluck out. I will be happy to sell you almost anything in my shop in exchange for them. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed to know. We should talk and ask about the ask about the Kraken, though, again. I want to see Release what... Release the Kraken! So that was the... Darknet. Dar Darknet. And who do you sell to? And does she take passengers? You know, I don't know. It doesn't hurt to ask. The next scheduled pickup is in five months. Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what they got for us. Uh, let's ask about the... Should we ask about the seal skin or... Let's you, ask. Uh, or, or about the parts or both. Uh, more info is always good, I think. Where do you get the parts you sell here? The packet <laughs> rack coughs. I am not at liberty to discuss my establishment's supply line. I don't think we should poke on this if we <laughs> want to do business with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Never mind then. That's reasonable. <gasps> hmm. Use a matter or motive. Use an item. What is our inventory like? We have spells and we have memories. All right. Never mind. I'm good. All right. So we got to go find. Let's let's see if we can buy anything. Let's see. How, let's see how much we need. A USB stick. Very useful. Stores data. Price is one dark. I have zero dark. Okay. And what? we just go out and find it. Yeah, okay. Look yeah. elsewhere. We can use matter and motive on the rat. I think we got the matter, but I don't know about the motive yet. What if we, what if we talk more? We have other options we haven't tried. Can't imagine you get much foot traffic down here. Oh, you would be surprised. When web ships crash, where do they go? Down here. And what do they need? Spare parts for their ships. And who has that? Me. You may have noticed, but this area has few commercial alternatives to my humble establishment. The high demand, coupled with minimal competition, makes this a surprisingly lucrative location. My prices follow from that. I see. I am glad you understand. Yeah, I'm not... I don't think we need to try to aggravate this dude when they're like as they've so astutely noted they are our one option here so mm -hmm. uh i did find the thing on our one of our discordian suggestions uh piece of advice is you want the big ship mm. it is the nature of those games you'll miss stuff and that is what it is but not having that makes it easy to miss a lot of fairly cool stuff mm. so i think we will take that advice what? um wander off and find some dark i guess because we can't buy stuff yeah, without well, it let's go find some dark oh there's the selkie we should give the selkie back the coat yep hello what do you want human hmm i want to help you do i need help you are a slave i know my own miseries will you add dashed hopes to their number you are not the first soul to come here with kind words and fine intentions Hmm. I can't and won't promise anything, but I am still offering. I think that's the fair yeah. way. Your offer is appreciated, but there is nothing to do. Hmm. Unless you can kill my master. Huh. Hmm. Given what we know about their master. Kind of a dick. Is the master the rat? Did we establish that? We never asked. No, we never did. Maybe we should just go with hedge our bets for a moment there. Perhaps. That seems extreme. If you wish to free me, you will have to kill him. He will never let me go. It is not good business to let me go. The market demands that I stay. I see. Should we go in and ask about the Selkie real quick just for info? Yeah. That seal skin in the special box belonged to the Selkie. Well, no, not really. It belongs to me. It's a sort of physical contract. As long as I possess it, he is my employee. Ah -hoo! Ah -hoo! <sighs> ah, sorry, I'm allergic to capitalistic bullshit. <laughs> Mm. Employee rather loosely, huh? Using the word employee rather loosely there. Yes, well, what about him? 
How much for the skin? As I mentioned before, it is not for sale. Hmm. Sure, I couldn't persuade you to part with it for an exorbitant amount of money. Or I worth see. asking. Well, when you put it that way, yes, I suppose I would. Let's see. I suppose I could let it go for a thousand dark. Obviously, the Selkie would find more than that over his lifetime, but it would be advantageous to have cash on hand. That is a lot of dark, but good to know. Interesting. All right. Shall we see how much the uh, the other ship parts cost while we're here? Sure. Hmm. Okay. Too dark for that. I'm guessing the other stuff will be on a similar order. Um. Ten dark. Okay. And it looks like we can haggle a little bit. Uh, so let's... But we want the USB drive first. Yeah. 10 dark. Oh, and now we did get the uh, the seal skin on there. Yeah. All right, well, let's go find dark. Yeah, let's... let's Go get one dark and come back. <laughs> the cliff. Let's just stay on the cliff for now so we don't lose track of... Okay. Long, sharp shapes cut through the water to the west. There's a lump of coagulated dark floating in the air. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Gloom. Keep, Keep searching. searching. There are two pieces of darkness, darkness left. I see um, no, umba. I see soul. Where do you see soul? S O L. Does that count? No. Um. Let's see. I see hat. Dark. Here we go. Are we looking for words that are dark? Yeah. Umbra. There it is. You can go diagonal. It's a word search. You can always go diagonal in word searches. Really? Don't give me this. Oh, yeah, you can. Sorry. Are you thinking of crosswords? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I try to go diagonal in those, and they won't let me. Let's see what the long, sharp shapes are. Sharks. Those are sharks. Sharks the size of Buicks. That's rad. That's pretty rad, and I don't think we should get involved with that. Yeah, let's not let's go, go west. Let's go get that uh, USB drive, huh? Sure, why not? All right. Cool. Let's look at our inventory. We have... Oh, our USB. Oh, it's our item bag. Yeah. Yay. Inventory. And too dark. Cool. This is such a cool friggin' game. Yeah. All right. Shall we continue? Just let's go the other way. You want to go the Cause, other? Because there were there were sharks off yeah. to the west. Yeah. We could go say hi. Perhaps. But let's check the other way first. <laughs> I don't think we have much that helps with sharks. There's a large dark net to the east. Hmm. It billows slightly near the on the side near the cliff. Currents playing with the fabric, but it is tacked down firmly. Let's examine it. Never seen a dark net used like this. They're usually used to trawl, catch things, or filter darkness. This one is literally pitched like a tent. There's no opening though, no way in. At least not that I can remember, which isn't I admit isn't saying much. Hmm. You cast a spell on the dark net. We could cast Hello World. What would happen? I cast Solway Mundi. I summon the glowing letters and press them against the side of the darknet. The darkness hisses and steams, melting under the focused power of its opposite matter. I am sure I can burn a hole through this net and get inside, but if I empowered my spell with another light matter, I could destroy this darknet entirely. We don't have light to get- mm. Oh, I knew we- mm. Should have been. But we can make a hole. Just make a hole. Brand the phrase, hello world, into the side of the darknet, and then tear the scraps of dimness away until there's a hole I can fit through. Shipwreck, heavy debugger. It is difficult to see inside the darknet. The element dominates. But I can see enough to make out a huge square brick of a web ship sitting dangerously close to the cliff edge. The ship is surrounded by piles of debris, web ship parts in the process of being scavenged and sorted through. Let's check out the ship and the debris. This barnacle-covered brick is a UFO-ware heavy debugger. The tank of the web ship is heavily fortified. It's not fast, but it generally doesn't need to be. It can take a beating. Repair Church. the ship. 
let's search it for now. I don't, we don't have stuff to repair it with. The bugger's hull is large and cavernous. There are three rooms in the ship, the storage area, the cabin, and the cockpit. The storage area is almost completely empty. Whatever the ship was transporting was taken by whoever stripped it of parts. There's a squat refrigerator in the corner, too heavy to scavenge, but we can put it in our USB. Yeah! A stack of books slap pours haphazardly against the wall. Next to the books is a smaller stack of CD jewel cases. Inside the refrigerator is a sealed Tupperware of desiccated salad. There's a post-it on it. E pop tarts are not dinner. Love C. Aww. All poetry, mostly E.E. E. Cummings and Emily Dickinson. Apparently not valuable enough to loot. Is is that a poetry burn? <laughs> <laughs> All the jewel cases are labeled second series by Edmund Graves. The cover art is a skeletal bird and wreathed in black daffodils. Clutched in its talons are a long parchment with the tagline, Hope is the thing with feathers. It is durable as fuck. Hmm. In the cabin. A small sleeping quarters. There's a bed in the corner built into the wall. Empty silver wrappers litter the floor. There the are Pop-Tarts trapped to the walls. <laughs> Pop-Tarts. Multitude of different kinds of Pop-Tarts. Metallica, Black Sabbath, and the Reduced Shakespeare Company. <laughs> Look under the bed. A sleek black electric guitar is hidden under the bed. <gasps> Take it. It's a very nice guitar. I feel sorry for whoever lost it. Because of this and because, you know, they are likely dead. Oh, we got the guitar. Yeah. Yo. Click it. Click it. Oh, I was Yo, we that could is play so a cool. Sick solo. Oh man. Cockpit is roomy and has two chairs, meant for a pilot and a co-pilot. Most of the controls are gone, but impossibly the stereo system still seems to be working. Hauntingly distorted guitars screech out the speakers. Someone screams the lyrics. No rat can torture me. My soul's at liberty. Behind this mortal bone, there knits a bolder one. I turn it off quickly. That is very loud. Yeah. All right. Let's examine the debris now. The dark mat makes it hard to see, and I'm sure I'm missing half of what's here. Hmm. Okay, so four. Okay. So this is a... Gasket? Oh, uh, okay. I was going to say way, but... Gasket? Yeah. Keep searching. Plating? Web. Hmm. Hmm. So we're looking for ship parts. Okay. Gear. gear. Scrap. Second line. There you go. Cool. Cool. Seems like we got what's here. Okay. Engine, a sail, and 20 parts to fix this web ship. Okay, so I think that should be our goal. Sail, engine, and 20 parts. For this, we're, we're doing this one? This looks to be the big one. Okay. I let's, will... let's look around and yeah, see oh, what yeah, the ships yeah, yeah. are. So this is along the cliff towards the east. Of, I wish we could make like a map or something. We Do could. I need to make a map? I think it'll be fine. I will get out pen and paper. I think I it'll be fine. Get now. out pen and paper. I and believe make... you, but I also think <laughs> it'll be fine. All right. It... The area to the east looks very boring and repetitive. Yeah? The area. T this area is very boring and repetitive. The area to the east looks much of the same. I kind of want to keep going east. I wonder what happens at this point. Can we go back? Do we have to... We do. Ha <laughs> ha! There's gotta be something over there. I I don't think there is. I think that might just be like a, like a okay okay champ. Come on now. <laughs> Let, let's kind of go around the border of this area. Okay. Hmm. Darkness has pulled into a thick thickly into a turtle black lake in the sand. So we shift dar darkness from it, or cast a spell on it. Want to see what Hello World does to it? Probably burns and dissipates it rather than yeah, helps us collect okay, it. Okay, so let's use matter or motive. Well, let's see, let's try dark. Oh no, no, we have to use up our dark. Oh, okay. We we have to actually use matter and motives as. Oh, <laughs> I see. Okay. 
Let's get, let's get some darkness out of it. Nocturnal. Hmm. Tenebris was in there. Tenebr oh, yeah, Tenebris. That's, yeah. Tenebris. Oh, that's such a great word. That should give us multiple dark, right? Caligonus. I like how none of these have been, like, backwards or, or uh, vertical yet. Or, yeah. like, down to up. I appreciate that. Let's see. Hmm. It's got to be a diagonal. Probably. Let's let's just take a look through. So it's a piece of darkness. So we know it's a dark word. That that it already helps us narrow down what we're looking for. Hmm. One other thing would be to look around vowels and see what of the letters around them help you actually make a word. Fosty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that one as well. <laughs> Who's feeling Fosty today? <laughs> and Saxy. Oh, I'm feeling very Saxy. Thank you. Get a new perspective. Interesting. What does that mean? Oh, it reshuffles, it reshuffles and makes a new word search, but keeps the word in it. Oh. Okay, so if you're feeling like it's too hard, you can... Lit. Re I found lit. Where? Lit. lit. That's lit. That is pretty lit. I also know some of the letters are highlighted. I wonder if there's a reason for that. Because it's cool. Huh. Let's see. Hot word search action. The worst part about this is because it's going up on YouTube, people can pause and find it on their own and then laugh at us when we couldn't find it. <laughs> how, how Are you enjoying playing with the bag? Oh, is that what I'm doing? It totally is. I'm sorry. <laughs> there shouldn't be items that are near enough my body for me to fidget with them. That is a problem, isn't it? Let's push that much farther away. Okay. There we go. We're safe now. <laughs> Uh, if we didn't need, like, at least 20. If we didn't need at least a thousand. At least a thousand, at a minimum. Um. Well, let's see. I don't see anything that seems like it. Let's cast a spell. Want to see what Hello World does to this? Sure. I don't think that spell would help here. That's fair. You sure? Creating glowing letters of light seems like it would help a lot. <laughs> As a way to kind of like highlight when you can't find them. Uh. Mm. What if they are backwards too? I've been looking backwards exclusively for a little while now. I found numb. Where? Oh, numb? Maybe that's it. I've become you so too. numb. You too. <laughs> I'm sorry. And it's not SOS, which has been in every one. Not SOS. Sending out an SOS. I found yay. I almost found, I was looking at like, oh, it looked like gauche for a moment there. <laughs> yeah, that's how you spell gauche. Darkness. Okay. This game is hard. This game is really hard. Why shopping. did it become so hard? <laughs> I mean, we are also trying to get the four out of four here. We could have taken our three and left. Right? You That's know. called admitting defeat. Yep. Tile. Huh. The hardest part about it is that we don't know what the word we're looking for is. Other than that, it is vaguely darkness related. And you pulled out like two words that I wouldn't have immediately been familiar with. What? So the last two words that you just found are words I, I'm not immediately familiar Tenebrous with. Tenebrous and Caligonus. Yes. 
or caliginous. I don't know if it's a hard or soft G. Another one of those words I've only read and never maybe, said. Maybe that's our uh, maybe that's our hint, hint. We should look for like the uh, suffixes, like the us, the itty, that kind of thing. Yeah, but those ones were all long, which was why they had the suffixes. There's no nothing in here that seems like it could be long enough. Hmm. God damn it. This is so hard. No, this is this is the hot word search action people have come to us for. I don't know about you, but when I think of two queers play, the first thing I think of is word searches. I found it. Where where is it? We're start at the bottom last left S and it's Stygian. Whoa, fuck yeah. Good call. Yeah. Woo. That's you just, have, you just chance upon it or what? Did you just chance upon it? or were Yeah. You, you, okay. Sift darkness from the pool. Cool. Now let's try using hello world. Oh. <gasps> okay. Guess that won't work. How are we doing on dark? Six. Cool. And four generic ship parts. Cool. Huge dark net to the west. Mm, but first, there's darkness here. Oh. Piece, three pieces of darkness. Fun! All right. Shadows. <gasps> the shadows? The shadows. <laughs> oh, it's just shadow. <laughs> the shadow? The shadow. <laughs> I can't. It's literally right there. What do you expect from me? <laughs> Ooh. Discord the gamers movie night when hmm. Let's see uh, What are we doing here I found Hoy Hoy Big brother <laughs> Oh I wonder if this one's gonna be Nope Never mind I found one. Oh, you did? I well, found pitch. You found... I was looking for pitch. Because I saw P's and C's and H's, and I'm like, oh, I bet pitch is going to be one of these words, and then I couldn't find it. I'm so angry. That is literally the word that was on my mind. I wonder if it repeats a lot of the letters to try to get you to, try to, get you to th think of that word. Maybe. Like, because, like, what, what is highlight? A lot of M, O, O, B... Gloom? Is that the word? Gloom! Ooh! Yeah! Okay, so... Cool. Neat. Um, check the dark net. Oh! So this is a new one. So yeah, let, let, yeah, let's... Yeah. We need light in order to actually destroy the net, it seems. So let's... Shipwreck. The Lanassas schooner. schooner. Sorry, schooner. It is difficult to see inside the dark net. The element dominates, but I can see enough to make out a sturdy looking black web ship. Ship is surrounded by piles of debris. Web ship parts in the process of being scavenged and sorted through. Let's look at the debris first. Let's get parts. Let's, Let's get, get parts. parts. Let's, Let's get, get parts. parts. I found Bobo. Found what? <laughs> I found Sprocket also. Thank you for Bobo. Where's Sprocket? Uh, oh, left. there it is. Yeah. yeah. Hmm, scrap. You weren't too fast at this. Holy fuck. I have brain problems. <gasps> Let's see. Cable. Cable. Why'd you leave your keys up on the cable? Bobo was in that one too. I just want you to know. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. This wreck used to be a Lanassus medium schooner. Mats of seaweed grow around its sides, but the black frame looks intact. Lanassus models are good, all-purpose vehicles. Reasonable speed, cabins large enough to live in for extended journeys. This one has an ugly gash in the side. That's probably what drowned it. How much would we need to repair this ship? Yeah, okay. See, yeah, yeah. This is less than the ones that we were looking at. Hmm. Let's examine it. I entered the ship. The Lanassus has a cockpit and a cabin. Both have been painted rose pink. 
The cockpit has been stripped down to wiring. There's nothing of interest here except a scratched decal on the windshield. The silhouette of a bumblebee. The cabin is lined with pots, all filled with dead plants. An iron teapot sits on the table. Find a mote of earth in one of the pots. Oh! Hey! So poking around everywhere is helpful. Okay. Iron teapot. The dregs of ancient tea coat the bottom of the pot. It smells intensely of mint. Worth yeah. it. Worth it. Okay. That is an interesting... Well, shall we continue going up the east side for now? Sure. Mm. I'm at the base of a seamount that rises to the north. The area to the east looks very boring. I see. So there's our barrier. Okay. Seamount is a mountain rising from the ocean floor that does not reach the water surface. Seamounts that do not reach the water surface are like what are that do reach the water surface are what we like to call islands. Fair enough. Do we want a zigzag now? Ooh. Wait, hold on. Do we want a zigzag? I was thinking we just do around the barrier first. Okay. Just do like the like get us feel for how of what the size of this area is. Crack yeah. on the side of the seamount I could fit into. Something gleams inside. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Another <gasps> one of my memories is in pieces. Uh, in front of a suspicious looking mound. Let's click on the mound that's suspicious. The mound has tiny eyeballs on top of it. Do you think you are being subtle, stargazer? Fish is called a stargazer because its eyes are on top of its head. Don't let the sweet name fool you. It is venomous, generates electric shocks, and is widely regarded as one of the most meanest things of creation. Let's make it really bright. I flare the words, hello world, into brightness. The half-buried fish start starts at the sudden light. It unearths itself and flees out of the crack, half swimming, half crawling along the seabed. It's dark in here. Another one of my memories. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is different. I gather up the pieces of my memory and I put them back together. Hmm. Is the I've always like throwing rocks at things the first or the last right that could be either now is the alchemical process of converting utter mystery into complete certainty so that goes after that so we can say with absolute certainty <laughs> oh hold on prophecy is the alchemical process of throwing rocks into the dark and guessing about what makes a noise Now is the chemical process of converting the utter mystery into complete certainty. I always like throwing rocks at things, and I don't mind a profession that admits its professionals are charlatans. That's hmm. plausible. I feel like what we got are three bits here, and we don't know what necessarily what order the bits go in. Prophecy. So this establishes the uh, pro the process of throwing rocks into the dark and guessing about what makes a noise. And this now says, I've always liked throwing rocks at things. I bet this has to come after that, because otherwise this illusion yeah. doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, let, let's give it a shot. And I don't mind a profession that admits its professionals are charlatans. This this seems like a plausible order. Yeah, this does. So then probably now goes first, and prophecy goes second. You think? I was thinking that maybe... Oh, whoops. Like that? Yeah. Let's try that. Now is the chemical alchem alchemical process of converting utter mystery into complete certainty. Prophecy is the alchemical process of throwing rocks into the dark and guessing about what makes a noise. I've always liked throwing rocks at things, and I don't mind a profession that admits its professionals are charlatans. I remember part of a spell. Discovered part of spell, Omini. Rand.seed, date time dot now. Collected one of three parts of this spell. Sweet. It's dark in here. Ghost of a poet. There's a body here, skeleton mottled with flesh. A few feet away, slumped against the seamount, is a ghost. Let's check out the skeleton first. His body is partially decomposed. See patches of skull through the scraps of scalp and hair. Find a mode of death among the scraps. The clothing has actually endured better than the flesh. It is wearing a heavy leather jacket with metal studs. Oh, it's our metal rocker. Yeah. Our Pop-Tart rocker. <laughs> One pocket to find a packet of web cookies. Tiny cookies shut up like spider webs. What should I do with them? Eat the web cookies, feed them to something, take them, 
We'll take them for now. Yeah. Pretty old, and the cookies don't travel from site to site very well. They'll probably crumble away if I travel with them. Hmm. Guess we do nothing then. There's nothing here that wants to be Let's fed. talk to the ghost before we eat them. Okay, so there are cookies here at this, buddy. The ghost. The ghost is slumped against the seam out, respecting the solid solidity of the rock wall out of habit rather than necessity. It's vague, pale silhouette. Its crumpled posture makes it even more difficult to distinguish details. It's curious for such a passive ghost to be so visible, but I quickly spot the reason. It's holding one of my memories. Ghosts are slowly crumbling framework of old thoughts and stale feelings. This ghost is using my memory as a crutch to hold up its fading existence, clinging to scraps of my identity because it has none of its own. I could just take my memory, send the ghost back to the restless sleep of the not quite dead. It's not as bad as it sounds, it's debatable whether ghosts are conscious at all. Many consider them to be videos on repeat with some ability to free associate. Wouldn't pass the Turing test. They say that exorcism is more upkeep than mercy. I could try to put it to rest. All ghosts want something. Have some input that will satisfy their derelict emotional framework. Getting that input lets them do whatever it is souls do when they are not done being alive. What should we do? Try to put it to rest? Yeah. It's nap time. You wake them so you can see and interact with them. You tell them the details to remind them of their lives. Makes them aware of their surroundings. Solve whatever issues keeping them as a ghost which makes them disappear. I can do this. I like how it keeps giving you the option to just take it at any... Lucky me, my memories took care of that. Remind them. One memory for every physical sense is standard and effective. We can do that. You need to be aware of their surroundings to cooperate or even know the issue's resolved. Figure out who this ghost was. You need to figure out five details, one for each physical sense to tell that it reminded it of its life. Probably a web ship. Okay. So we need to be able to identify one thing about each of its senses. We suspect it's the metal head. Yeah. It almost certainly is. Okay. Let's try talking to the ghost. The ghost lifts its head in as I draw near. It's awake enough to have a vague sense of its surroundings. Hello. It murmurs, its head turning from side to side, searching vaguely. Cannot yet see me. Me, here, my foreign ear, the sounds of welcome near. Is that a part of the poet? Is I wonder if that's a line from either the other of the poets we saw in... Could be. Who are you? I'm nobody. Who are you? Are you nobody, too? I am Pisces. Oh, the moon is distant from the sea. And yet, with amber hands, she leads him, docile as a boy, along appointed sands. Are you referencing my name? Starfish. Yes, for your association, well done. What is it that you want? They left me, sweet, two legacies. Two legacies of love. A heavenly father would content had he the offer of. They left me boundaries of pain, capacious as the sea. Between eternity and time, their consciousness and me. All right. How did you end up here? An awful tempest mashed the air. The clouds were gaunt and few. As black as of a specter's cloak hid heaven and earth from view. It tossed and tossed two little brigs I knew. Or took by blast, they spun and spun, and groped delirious for morn. Ah, brigs, good night to crew and you. The ocean's heart too smooth, too blue, to break for you. I followed down. I had to. All right. What's your name? The silhouette of a body contorts with effort. This is a difficult question. Emily? It sags. No. E. E. I was e. right. Yeah. Okay, don't hurt yourself. I'm going to help you. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. You've got that right. I guess this is where my, uh, my lack of knowledge on poetry is going to start showing. <laughs> but let's see. All right. Can we, uh, do we have to try to revive? What is it we have to do? Or do we examine? The ghost's head and limbs are disproportionately small compared to its torso and arms. It's either deformed or died wearing a bulky coat. It's curled in on itself in a posture of intense grief. 
What if it's try to revive? Sit down on the sand with the front of the ghost and begin to th speak to it of sensations I think it will be familiar on from its life. Remember the taste of Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts. Remember... The whine of distorted guitars and scream of heavy metal lyrics. Something I've said has caught the ghost's attention. Remember... The weight of a pen in your fingers and the... Or, or wait, no, the, the guitar strings. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the sight of... Fuck, what color was it? I think it was red. We'll have to go back and check if we're on the right path sure. here. Oh, something I've said has caught the ghost's attention. Remember the smell of... Leather. Leather jacket. I finished my litany of sensation. I examined the ghost. It responded strongly to my words, but something was off. We should go back and check the color of... Actually, let's check the skeleton first, just in case it's the color of something here. Leather jacket, metal studs, web cookies. Tasty web cookies. Can we check that uh, big thing? What thing? Uh, the the boat, the web ship that the it big, came from. The big ship? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll check that. Do you want to go back there right now or do you want to keep continue our circuit? I'm worried that I won't remember if we don't do it soon. Okay, so let's examine it. Search the ship. Cockpit. Hmm. What's the... I see. So, let's see. The cabin. Silver wrappers. Empty silver wrappers. There are posters taped to the walls. Metallica Black Set, the Reduce Shakespeare Company. Was silver an option for the color? I don't remember. The storage area. Hmm. There's also the uh, pink post-it. The pink post-it. The pink post-it. You think that's it? Probably. Can we check the guitar in our inventory as well real quick? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Want to try again? Yeah, let's try again. And we have the name now, too. Oh, Edmund the, Graves. Yep. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, are, are, are we right there already? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I just cut across. There was, I saw something else along the way. Don't worry. I did see it, but we're, we're trying to be, uh, we're trying to be as, uh, you know what I mean? We're trying to be a procedural about this. Okay. Pop tarts. What if it's the other person there? Or well, let's see what heavy metal lyrics gets yeah. us. Okay, so that gets them. But maybe it's not the pop tarts that they're eating. Maybe it's the pop tarts their partner's eating. Maybe the cookies are what they eat. The hmm. web could be because something I've said has caught the ghost's attention here. So what if this is weight of a pen rather than guitars? Or did guitar strings work last time? Let's try weight of a pen. Cherry Blossom Pink. That was the second ship we looked at. None of these other... Midnight Black? It is black. Okay, cool. So we, I didn't see that black was an option in there. And what did we try for this one? Leather? Leather. Yeah. Okay, so let's try again now that we know the, what's going on. Okay, so... So we're gonna do... Um, we're gonna try the... Let's try the cookies. Distorted guitars. The guitar thing. A to ghost is distractive and unresponsive. Okay, let's stop. So let's see. So yeah. it was the Pop Tarts. It was the Pop Tarts, and we were wrong. It's not the metalhead, it's the the poet. Those are the same person. There were two people in that ship. Really? Yes. Who why why else would they be leaving a Pop Tart from one to the uh, and Pop Tart note from one to the other? I suppose. Um, I thought that we got correct responses for every two. It tells things. us whether or not we got one right. Yes, yeah, so that let's last pop tarts. Time. Yeah, so pop tarts. 
and it's musical theater. No. I So let's do let's just do all the things for the metal like we Okay. Now know that we are able to. So you want to start with Pop Tarts yep. and Metal. Yep. Pop Tarts, heavy metal. Guitar. Midnight Black. Midnight Black. The ghost is almost awake. And the smell of leather. There we go. Yeah. Literally okay. the only thing we had wrong was that I didn't see that black was a color option when yeah. we first did it. Yeah. Okay. Watch it waken. He ate and drank the precious words. His spirit grew robust. He knew no more that he was poor, nor that his frame was dust. Oh, I just realized it's been a little while. How long have we been going for? Ooh, nice. The ghost has transformed from a vague white silhouette into a slender, pale man wearing a leather jacket. His face is studded with piercings and etched with weary sadness. He's looking directly at me. He smiles very slightly. What do you want? What do you want? They left me, sweet, two legacies, two legacies of love. If this boundary, time, cruel master, capacious as the sea, is drawn for all eternity between those two and me. The ghost wavers. He seems to be about to cry again, but stops himself. It is fine. Life is but life, and death but death. There is poetry and tragedy. Bring me, please, my instrument. I'll make music out of pain. The ghost is transformed from a vague white silhouette into a slender pale man wearing a leather... Okay, uh... Ooh! We can reunite the ghosts. We don't. Shall we give him... He asked for his guitar, though. That's going to probably make him pass on to the next world and be, uh, and be an alternate choice. Which are we interested in doing? Okay. Uh, because we don't know these other two people yet. So do you want to leave him be here for now? Yeah, for now, let's leave him be. We've woken him up. Okay. And we know how to do so again if we need to. We also have seen the gardener's ship. Yeah, we did. Oh, so God. So we can either just, like, brute force our way and take the memories, or we can spend the time to get to know everything about these people. And, and we should. We should. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. Let's do a circuit around the border. Continue. Okay. See you out. Ooh. Strange white lump. On closer inspection, I discovered that the white lump is a huge octopus, albino white and translucent. It has pressed itself into the crease where the sea mount meets sand. It is not having much luck since it is the size of a washing machine. I am perplexed for a moment. I have seen little sea life. My bright glowing letters scare off creatures accustomed to perfect darkness. Then I see the octopus has only six arms, two less than its title dictates and its mantle is half crushed, oozing faintly blue liquid into the water. It We've is dying. met the hexapus. Its head. There's a dying octopus near the base of the sea mount. The octopus has pressed itself into the crease where the sea mount meets sand. Touch, tell, kill, cast a spell, use matter or more. Hmm. hmm. I don't know what to make of this. The matter is death, presumably, which we have. You but want what would the motive be? Kill How it and help? put it out of its misery? Do you want to kill it? I was. I mean, thinking it seems like it's dying. If we can spare it even a couple more minutes of pain, that seems like a... I don't know. Touch the octopus. We could. Touch. Tell the octopus everything will be all right. That <laughs> seems needlessly cruel. <laughs> don't worry, buddy. It's going to be okay. Uh, Well, what would you like to do? Let, let's... I, I, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, Clearly, we have the option to do something other than kill it. Yes. But I'm not sure what that would be yet. The large dark knight to the way. Oh, we found the last ship. There's only three? Three seemed like a number. Okay. I don't know why I assumed there was three. I just kind of assumed There's there was. There's probably one for each ghost. Yeah. There's a dark knight here the size of a tent. It is pinned partially to the side of the sea mount and staked into the ground. It looks like it's crawling up the mountain. Never seen a dark knight used like this. All right, yep. Yeah. Hello, world! Just make a hole. Plus, we have to find a light moat in order to actually free the ship we want to repair from the darknet. Yeah. Skyhook Air. It's difficult to see inside the darknet. The element dominates. But I can see enough to make out the sleek, light silver web ship that it conceals. The ship is surrounded by piles of debris. Web ship parts in the process of being scavenged and sorted through. Let's do the debris first. 
Um, Piping. The fuck did you see that? Bottom row. Pipping. Gasket. Web. Oh, you got gasket. Finally, I win one. Uh, let's see. Bobo. <laughs> it keeps showing up. The <gasps> other one that keeps showing up is Bofi. B O F I. Bofi D's nuts. I got him. Woo! <laughs> uh, uh, plating. <clears throat> yes. This used to be a Skyhook Air skimmer model. You can tell by the pomegranate logo engraved on the side. It's small and sleek. The sides taper from flared wings to a spear point of a bow. That spear point is slightly crumpled from impact with the seamount. Model is fast, but very small and not durable at all. Basically just a cockpit. It will serve if I plan to straight up sprint to the surface with no exploring along the way. While the white chassis is... Oh, so if you're doing the speed run. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if the white chassis is stained and dented, but all the sensitive machinery is pressed into its hull, which doesn't seem to be breached. Search it. Climb into the ship. It is basically just a cockpit studded with compartments. The seat is set up for someone much taller than me. There are a number of storage cabinets, a coffee machine, and a mini fridge built into the back wall. Ooh, finally. <laughs> a game after my own heart. First cabinet contains sewing supplies. Cabinet contains a half-repaired purple blouse and an incomplete patchwork rabbit made entirely out of scraps of lavender cloth. Cabinet contains clothes, blouses, jeans, and a spare clock. Cloak? What about it? Oh, I thought you said clock. Clock. Oh, I, I might have said clock. Cloak. This cabinet contains a whetstone, oil, res renaissance wax, and paper towels. Cabinet contains a stack of sewing plans. Ooh, plans! Discover a plan for sewing a web sale. This could be useful. I take it. Hmm. Cabinet contains a cube of solid gray order motive. Hell yeah. Yep. Cabinet contains a stack of music CDs. Everything from Ida to Wicked. This is the musical theater one. This is the musical theater one. Okay. Sorry, when I saw the reduced Shakespeare company, I was I was thinking. Okay, we're done here. Good stuff. See that coffee machine? This is a rather expensive looking coffee machine. Many of the parts have been removed, but there's still a filter full of ground beans that smell both strong and rotten. Open the fridge. Inside the tiny refrigerator is a whole rotisserie chicken that is rotted in its container down to bones and gelatin. It's also a sealed Tupperware of desiccated salad. There's a purple post-it on it. Chicken and Tic Tacs aren't dinner. Love, see. <laughs> Let's see. Good stuff. See that dashboard? Dashboard is a complex and half-stripped series of controls, most of which are useless until the ship is repaired. There's a music CD half out of the player. Man of La Mancha. <laughs> <laughs> I am I. Don Quixote. The glove compartment is stuck and half-opened. Glove compartment is entirely full of orange Tic Tacs. Two tiny dolls on the dashboard. Dolls are cleanly handmade, clearly handmade. Their faces are embroidered and they have tiny outfits. One is sewn of white cotton and has a tiny hand-stitched leather jacket. One is a brown muslin. It has a tiny dress of patterned flowers. Oh, so the three people in the dis in the disparate ships all probably knew each other. Is yeah. Is what I'm getting here. Yeah. I'm done here. We've learned so much. Get out! <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, sharks are that way. So it's sharks to the to the west, a uh, boring expanse to the east. To the east. Okay. Yay! More. Yay! Uh, soy. <laughs> Balls. Balls. <laughs> Got him. Uh, <laughs> oh, we have too much maturity. Uh, oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Loom. Oh, gloom. Ha! Hmm. It's 
since we're repeating words now, I wonder if we want to re- look at some of the words we've seen already. Perhaps. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> I don't see you helping. I am. Oh, you found one. Hmm. This looks like it would be depth. I was looking down here. I'm like, oh, depth. Deep. Hmm. Hmm. Look at this hot word search action. This is what the people demand. This is what the people. I don't know what else to tell you. The people have demanded it. Uh, we have. They won't let us sleep at night. They are constantly knocking on our windows, saying, "SK, please let us in from the cold. It's freezing out here. I'm going to die without getting inside." <laughs> and I, 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 I don't know what else to tell them. I can't get over how the puzzles are um, based on the same pattern with the same non-words in it a lot. I can't unsee it. Let's see. Uh, Spur... Nope. Dipth... Like this one still has hoy in the same place. Hoy. I, I wonder. I wonder how they're made. Not randomly generated. Somber. Oh. Good. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's zigzag. Uh. Okay. So what we've done is we've done a border of it now. Yeah. So what do you mean zigzag? Go one east, back up all the way. Go one east, back yes, down all okay. the way. We have a fair amount of dork now. Counterpoint. We don't know what we'll need to buy until we are done searching because we are finding ships and parts and stuff. Okay. So you want to want to do? We'll do vertical. We'll do columns. Yeah. Okay. We'll go east one, and then we'll go north. Oh. 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 So we go no the Skeleton of a drowned strip web ship lies half buried in the sand. The husk of a drowned web ship. The ship has been completely gutted, side stripped, innards extracted, nothing left but the frame which is made with of intention and vision too stiff to be repurposed. Can't do anything with this. Tiny whirlpool spins from the water here. Mm, Yo, we're getting water. Chaos. Huh? Chaos. 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 Oh, <gasps> we found a chaos moat inside the piece of water. Splash. I also like how the word searches kind of match the thing that they're supposed to be. Yeah. It's cute. Mm. You know, I thought all this wordle practice would make me better at this, and then I realized that's a completely different set of skills. <laughs> Is SOG? S-O-G? Oh, flow. Even flow. I'll check SOG, though. No, it's not. I'm it's guessing like soggy. Yeah, yeah, no, no. It is a word, and it is related. I'm guessing that the words that are intentionally put here are all going to be long, like four or five. I found words. sold. So did I. Yeah, I was like, like sold is here, and it's just I don't think that. I'm guessing the intentional words are going to be longer than that. But hmm, there's row. Salmon row. <laughs> Season two when? Right? It's such a good show. Uh... Diagonals are my kryptonite. I hate diagonals. It's in rows. Everything should be in rows. Why not columns? Columns too. Column is just a row the other way. Oh, wow. Bold take. Hmm. 
He's got a new perspective on this. Shvel. Huh. Gap. <laughs> I like the not. Oh. Wow. Oh, immersion broken. Shit. <laughs> Zerg. <laughs> oh, I no hope that's that there on purpose. I hope that's there on purpose. Hmm. Maybe something like damp. Kerrigan has entered the chat. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Let's see. Humid. No. Ooh, that would be a good one. Looks like pond, but that's not it. Hmm. And one of the words we picked out wasn't even water related. That was just chaos. We just found in there. Uh, you know what? We always get tripped up on like the final one. I wonder if they somehow get harder. Almost certainly. Harder in the sense that it's always going to go diagonal. Yeah. And we're also able to give up at any point. So I'm guessing we don't need all of the resources we get here. We do. I, we have to get all the words. I, I don't think... I mean, like, we do in the sense that we have brain problems, but we don't in the sense that I'm pretty sure you don't need them all to complete the game. Oh, oh my God. You're going to kick yourself when you find what it is. What is it? It's fluid and it's just the right column. I hate it here. <laughs> Woo! <gasps> A search engine. A puttering gear-covered search engine paces the plane on spider legs. Indexing grains of sand. There's a large dark. Count how many sand is here. Yeah. We don't. Yeah, we do have to every time it comes up, don't we? <laughs> this is a search engine. A drone constructed to search and catalog interesting items and places in the web. We'll search until its data stores are full and then return to whoever made it and upload what it found. You don't see many to these in the deep web. They tend to get eaten. Most interesting thing about it, in my eyes, is that it's powered by a quality engine that I could easily repurpose for a web ship. It's power cords dangling from its underbelly. If I can disconnect them, it'll power down. Interesting. Can wrestle it into submission. It'll probably lose us health. Cast a spell. Use matter. What? S Hello! Oh! I summon the glowing letters. The search engine's sensors flick up. It indexes the letters, mechanically recites them in alphabetical, or alphabetical order, then goes back to the sand. It's matter is order. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So we can probably matter and motive it. We have an order cube. What's the matter, though? The matter is order. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Wait, no. How does matter and motive work? We've not tried it yet, and I don't remember enough. In the uh, other games we played from Open Sorcery, we needed to just identify matter and motive. Can we save the this game? This time it's a resource. Can so we I save the game and try it? I just want to try it. Save. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Expert export mode. Got it. I thought it was expert mode. All right, so we've saved. Let's let's oh, wait, let's see whether or not if we lose this. For... Yeah, let's use order. I don't think that would help here. Okay, let's try another element. What about chaos? I shattered the little machine's delicate inner workings with the mode of chaos. Detach the engine from the dry frame. I upload it to my USB drive holding. Gain search engine. I have an engine. Wow. Okay. I think that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I'm cool. I'm cool committing to that. Are we now on that we know, time? So now that we know how it works, uh, we've got just a few minutes left in this episode. Um, I was thinking we'd probably like finish the column or the next one and then call it there for now. Okay. And then we'll... Because there's going to be more. Uh, okay. So that lost us our only chaos motive. Um, or... Matter. No, chaos is motive. These are matter. That's motive. Uh, which is unfortunate. But well, we've got half the generic parts we need and we have a search engine. Yeah. Plus five momentum and simulates order. I know we need to sew a web sale still. Okay. All right. We made it back up. We made it back up. All right. So I think what we'll do is we'll save here for now. Yeah. And next episode we'll come back and we'll keep going. We'll do our, keep doing our zigzag through the columns and we'll see you next time. Next time. Next time. Next time ASMR. <laughs>
Smash, smash, smash that like, comment and subscribe.